Students of Swift, I'm Professor John Gallagher, and unfortunately when working with Swift packages installed from Swift Package Manager or CocoaPods, and especially when working with Firebase packages, you'll run across erroneous errors, or sometimes errors that aren't so erroneous that claim that the package hasn't been installed or that objects can't be found in scope. Since I teach hundreds of students in person, I see these errors a lot, and they are super frustrating for new coders. So in this bonus video, I'm providing some tips for the inevitable point when you run across these yourself. Know of any tips I didn't mention? Make sure you put them in the comments below. When you start working with packages, sometimes they're quirky. Firebase in particular oftentimes gives an error saying things like Firebase Firestore not available, but if you've coded your app properly and you know you installed them properly using Swift Package Manager, this is a bogus error. So if you see an error on this line or on the import line above and you've entered those correctly, you can ignore those errors. Now, sometimes you'll see an indexing progress circle in the upper right of the toolbar. If so, sometimes you can wait for that to be done. Oftentimes this needs to happen if you're using a project that has packages installed using Swift Package Manager. Now you can also try something called Clean Build Folder with Shift Command K. This forces Xcode to rebuild the connections between data structures and other things in the project. Sometimes the internal database used for code completion gets corrupt, so Shift Command K, that clean rebuild, can sometimes fix this. Now you can also build and run in the simulator, and many times that's all it takes, just building and running. Even if the errors persist, the simulator will oftentimes run without the error stopping it. If you've still got problems and you can't run, you can quit out of Xcode, restart your Mac and restart Xcode. And finally, if none of that helps, there's a technique called deleting derived data. It involves finding and deleting a folder on your Mac named derived data. And a developer named Ellen Shapiro has very kindly put together instructions on how to do this. And you can find that on the web at deriveddata.dance. I love that URL. So if you have errors showing up on this line or on the import that say something like Firebase doesn't exist or isn't available, these are some steps that can usually solve the problem. Hopefully your problem is solved so you can continue to hack.